Hello everybody and welcome back to our uh, tutorial with oil pump we almost finished we'll deal now with the bearing let's go back and check our bearing where is our bearing here is our bearing yes bolt bearing GIS B1538 1435-8 okay let's go to our inventor and again to our design and here is our bearings yes and we'll take our shaft as a reference this one my cylindrical face starts it will start here and I'll flip it up yes what do we have let's ch check tax angular contact ball bearing la all bo all bearing categories we'll go to what we have here as we said uh, uh, GIS GIS where are they let's go back all bearings Mm -hmm. GIS we have 35 14 8 yes this one click OK OK so we have our bearing set it and worked 14 35 8 our outside is 35 and it will work with our so we'll see where is uh, shaft 1 it will have to be shaft 1 this one but that doesn't matter drive this is my drive let us drive it and see drive it didn't drive with our shaft so we'll stop go back cancel and drive it with our shaft okay let's drive it here so let's go to our constraints angle constraint angle angle and we'll go to shaft our shaft this one this uh, first this is shaft 2 now we need shaft 1 where is shaft 1 here's shaft 1 ok what happened man oh my god what's happening what's happening what's happening check per deck this part Something wrong with our shafts, مش مشكلة. We'll we'll uh, check them in the bill of materials. So we'll take an angle constraint between one of the shafts and the bearing, and it will rota rotate together. Doesn't matter now. We'll check our bill of materials and uh, do it again. Something confused with bill of materials because I have shaft two, shaft two. I can't see. I don't know. Okay, so bring our cap here, bearing cap, bearing cap. Where is it? We didn't do it. Hmm. So we have to constrain, cancel. Let us do it and come back. I'll finish now and we'll start a new video for to design a 3D model of the bearing cap and I'll